First time he's come to Jamaica, and they've took his life like that. On Monday, January 2nd, 2022, about 12.02 p.m., Shane Hallen Patterson, a 33-year-old personal trainer of West London, Great Britain, was shot and killed by unknown assailants at a villa in Bogue Heights, St. James. It was reported that Patterson came to Jamaica on December 29, 2022 on a Virgin Airline flight at the Sandstars International Airport along with a male companion who is a construction worker of an Harlan Road, London address. They spent three days at an apartment, then subsequently booked at a villa in Bogue Heights, St. James for five days starting January 1st, 2023 at 5 p.m. On that day, they attended a popular concert in Priory, St. Anne, where they met up with one O'Shane Richards, O.C. Shaba, construction worker of a Kingston 13 address. Richards was deported from the UK in May 2013 after his conviction and a prison term of 33 months for possession of crack cocaine. On Monday, January 2nd, 2023, about 5 a.m., they returned to the villa accompanied by O'Shane Richards. All three reportedly retired to bed in separate rooms. About 12 midday on Monday, January 2nd, Patterson woke up and went to the pool deck along with Richards and they were both talking on their phones. Richard reported that his back was turned to Patterson when he heard several loud explosions sounding like gunshots. He reported that he looked around and saw a lone man dressed in a black hooded sweatshirt with a handgun shooting Patterson. Richards allegedly ran off in bushes. The police were summoned and on arrival, Patterson was seen clad in a grey shorts on his back in a pool of blood with what appeared to be gunshot wounds to the upper body and head. From credible information received, Shane Patterson is well known to the UK authorities and has an extensive criminal record for a number of offenses which include narcotics, violence, and firearm. Our investigation so far has theorized that the murder was a contract killing that emanated from Britain. There is no evidence that Patterson was robbed or has any connection in Jamaica. The investigation is making significant progress and we are working with our international partners. If anyone has information they think can assist this investigation, please call Crime Stop at 311 or Police Emergency at 119 or the NIB tick line at 811. Sean Patterson was 33. He was on holiday in Jamaica when he was shot dead. My phone don't stop ringing. What's happened to your son, Helen? Why have they killed him? How have they killed him? First time he's come to Jamaica, and they've took his life like that. It just don't. I can't comprehend, basically. I'm still trying to process this thing. That's when he got christened. At his mother's home in Shepherd's Bush, Sean's father and brother look at old photos. He hadn't even started to shine yet. No children yet. He just basically started to live his life, starting to find himself. Went to Jamaica. How do we comprehend with that? The whole world is missing Sean Patterson. Sean had flown to Jamaica with a friend to see in the new year. On Monday, he was staying in this guest house when he was shot multiple times near the villa's pool. Police in Jamaica have reportedly arrested a 34-year-old man who'd previously been deported from England 10 years ago. We need justice. We want justice. He deserves justice because he was somebody. His name was Sean Allen Patterson, loved by all people in West London. Sean worked as a personal trainer and had plans to marry his long-term girlfriend. 
everywhere he went, he was loved. He just had that mannerism that took people over. And they took that light away from us. I don't know what more I can say apart from, Sean, rest in peace. Please, please do, son. <laughs>